I don't know about you, but I don't feel like building this workflow from this YouTube video, but I still want it. So I'm going to go up here to the link. I'm just going to copy the link of the YouTube video. I'm going to paste it into this Gemini prompt and just let that run. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy and paste this whole thing that it's just given me from my Gemini prompt. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go into my Claude N8N builder, paste it in there and let that run. All right, it's done. So let's copy this, go into N8N, control V. And would you look at that? Just in time for me to finish my coffee. All right, so the first step is you're gonna wanna go to Claude.ai and you will need the upgraded version of Claude for this to work because you need to use the projects feature. And we will also be using the new Opus model later on, which is also in the premium version of Claude. So once you're in here, in the projects panel on the left over here, you're going to want to hit create project. Name doesn't really matter. I'm just going to call it NNN Builder. Builds NNN workflows. And then just create that project. Okay. So now... If you just try and go into Claude and just try and get it to make you an NNN workflow, it'll make you some JSON, but when you paste it in, it's just not going to work properly. It doesn't actually know fully how to do that. So that's why we're doing a project to teach it. So for the setup instructions, I will link down below some documents from Nolan Harper. He is fantastic. He has a great channel. Go check him out. Lots of free stuff he's providing. I will be using that for this tutorial. So I'm just going to put that in there. Okay. So as you can see, this will be linked in the description. So I'm just going to copy this and we will change this slightly a little bit later so that it works with our YouTube video method for Gemini. So we're just going to paste that in there and hit save instructions. Okay. So what's that, what that's going to do is it's basically just going to explain to it how to properly build the workflows. Um, and then now we need to add knowledge. So for the knowledge, and again, everything's linked down in the description. So this is the Claude system prompt. And now I'm going to put in these compiled N8N docs. So this is a compilation of a whole bunch of N8N information to teach Claude how to properly build workflows and just give it more knowledge on how to do his job properly. All right, now that we've trained it on the N8N documentation and we've given it a system prompt, what we're gonna say now is create me a document with prompt guidelines to allow me to create the best prompts for you to build N8N workflows effectively, okay? And we're just gonna send that. All right, so this is just for understanding because what this is essentially, what we're doing here is we're taking the project that understands our goal and then we're saying, create me prompt guidelines for you so that when I prompt you, you will give us the best output. Now, I'm not going to use this one. This is just so that you can understand. I will be using the one from Nolan Harper in the description because this one is perfected to give us the best possible result. So now we have the prompt guidelines, which are based on Claude letting us know what it wants to build the best workflows possible for N8N. I'm going to take that over to aistudio.google.com, not Gemini. This doesn't work with Gemini. You have to go to aistudio.google.com. And then I'm going to input that document and I'm going to say this prompt that I've created. So based on these prompt guidelines, give me a prompt that I can ask you later on, which will use these guidelines plus a YouTube video to assess both. And then I will use your output in my N8N agent builder. The prompt you make me now, which will be used again here afterwards, should assess the final form of the N8N workflow from the video, and then use the prompt guidelines to formulate a prompt for my N8N workflow builder agent. Okay, it's a mouthful, but now it's given me this prompt right here. So I will also have this in the description as well for you to use. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and copy that prompt and then go into a new chat. So once you go into a new chat, you can just paste that in. And then you want to find the YouTube video that you wanna use. So I'm just gonna use my own YouTube video. 
And keep in mind, this is a single agent tutorial. So it's going in depth into the nodes and it's just one agent. If you want to do another type of YouTube video where they're going over like 10 different agents, you'll have to specify that in here to Gemini to let them know, right? But for most AI agent tutorials, this will work. So we're just going to copy that link and then we can paste this into the prompt here anywhere. And then we also need to upload the Claude prompt guidelines for it as well. And now we can send that off. So this is the result of that. So once this is all done, make sure you just go up here to these the, to the more options section and just hit copy text. Because if you try and copy this whole thing, like it's going to get like weird text like this, like use code with caution. And sometimes these boxes right here won't properly go in. So yeah, just go up here, copy text. And also I just want to point out, it got the system message for the AI agent from the video. Like perfect. Like this is amazing. Um, yeah, it's awesome. So once you've copied it, go to Claude and then just go control V. And it's just going to paste it in there for you. And you can just double check. Everything is good. Yep. All right. And it has all the information. Make sure you switch this from Sonnet to Opus 4 because Opus is the more complex model. So it will give you a better result, right? So there you go. Once that's done, you can just send that off. Okay. So now that it's done, I'm just going to copy it and then go to N8N and do control V. So there is our workflow. And what you'll notice is that it's not perfect, but it's okay. I'm going to show you how to actually fix that because our Claude project isn't actually done yet. So here's the thing. It doesn't fully understand the workflows yet. As you can see, it is pretty dang close, but the tools are not connected to the AI agent because it doesn't know how to make the AI agent. This is a common error that I have personally noticed when trying to automatically create N8N workflows. So this is how you fix it. I'll show you right now. In order to properly fix it, what you're going to want to do is feed it successful AI agents that you've made in the past. Okay. If you don't have any, don't worry. I will give you this one as an example. I'll provide this in the description so you can download it. So this is my agent I made. So all you got to do is go up here, click download. And then once you've downloaded it, it'll download just as a JSON file. What you're going to do, and again, you can use all of your AI agents that you have, is you're going to go to Claude. So you're just going to feed it that as knowledge. So you can feed it as many agents as you want. And then we're going to go into the project instructions here. And if you come to the bottom, as you can see, there's final notes. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, you may also use agents such as agent3.json as inspiration. Okay. And then we're going to hit save instructions. So now, and then if you have multiple, you'll just say you can use agent three, you can use agent four, you can use agent five, and then it can use that knowledge to build the workflows. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste the exact same prompt from last time, but now it has an example of an AI agent and we're just going to paste that in, make sure you're on Opus and now we'll see the difference. I'm going to copy that, go over to N8N, control V and would you look at that? Wow. Okay. So as you can see, it's all properly connected now just move these notes out of the way and now you can just basically use your agent all you have to do is set up your credentials you just got to connect your credentials double click on all of the red ones they just need to be uh, verified and figured out as you can see everything's all connected yep connect 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 gmail contacts there we go calendar okay so it looks like there's a little error in the attendees right it's not perfect 
it's not going to work perfectly every time. We'll just have to fix this up. But let's say this is a workflow from YouTube and you're like, oh my God, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to fix this. This is what you do. You're going to want to go into Gemini where you got your prompt that you gave to Claude. And then all you have to say is, I'm stuck trying to set up the send Gmail tool for the agent. This was just an example that I did. What part of the video can I find that? And now what it's going to do is it's going to tell you exactly in the YouTube video where you can find the part that you're having trouble with. And it's going to explain it to you. The presenter clicks this icon and he does this. He sets the tool description to send message. So it's going to help you through if there's any errors, right? Uh, I also did it for the contacts tool. And I also said, looks like those times are incorrect because these times here weren't right. These ones are 1740 for the contacts tool. As you can see, if we go to 1740 in we're this going video, to add an air table, air table for the contacts, right? But this is just an example of how the AI isn't perfect every time we're getting there, right? The Claude added the error in the calendar. Gemini had an error right here when I asked it for Gmail. This is not actually where it is in the video. It's like a little bit later. But that's just how AI is right now. But it's getting pretty good. This workflow looks good. I'm pretty happy with this. Another thing to look out for is sometimes it will add error triggers. So this is just from our Gemini prompt. If we look at what we pasted in, it says it should include production ready, proper error handling. It says it up there and it also says it down here. Error handling, the workflow should include basic error handling. Just remove that from what you've pasted in if you don't want that to happen because sometimes it can also just mess up the entire workflow and add like a whole bunch of random nodes that you don't want. So just be aware of that. So we're gonna delete this and let's actually test this out. So I'm gonna hit execute workflow. Send a message to Darren Watkins saying hi. Sent that, transcribing. Okay, it couldn't access the contacts tool. Let's just figure that out. Let's try that again. Send a message to Darren Watkins saying hi. There we go. Workflow executed successfully. So we can have a look here at what happened. Logs. As you can see, it sent the email saying hi. Access Accessed it from the contacts tool right here. And everything worked correctly. So all I had to do in the contacts tool was just re-click on everything. I just set this to a different one and then set it back. Set this to a different one, set it back. And then it ended up working. That's the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this helps you. I'm not going to lie. I think this is pretty awesome. So if you like AI stuff like this, you want to stay up to date with the latest information, join my Telegram. Link is in the description. And I will see you later. Peace.